to the KY3 Garden Spot. We're at Fast Night Creek Farm with Dan Bigby. Uh, it's almost the middle of October, Dan, so we're kind of looking backward at the growing season and looking forward to the next growing you season. You bet we're. Farmers are always looking forward to the next yeah, season because yeah. things never go just according to plan, but we're pulling out some of the globe amaranth and uh, bundling it, getting it ready to hang. Uh, I noticed just a tad of frost the other day, and mm -hmm. so this does not like frost, neither does coxcomb, and if we're going to get any hang hanging for dried we better uh -huh. do it because it'll slip up on us if we don't take some to the barn so, so those are like a seed source like the coxcomb they as are well. so uh -huh. they have right there where they turn white at the end that seed is mature and ready to go so uh -huh. just like the coxcomb you can hang it for dried and then have your own seed right there too so. and also if you're a composter it's going to go crazy it looks well, like <laughs> so this is just an example of the root system that you get yeah. when you added that much organic matter and that was the key to the success here. Mm -hmm. No water and uh, very little fertilizer and organic matter will make the world go round. All righty. Well, let's talk about Reliant Grapes. I've, you know, everybody had Concord in the backyard. Sure. You for and a long I grew time. up on Concord yes, and new grape jelly, and <laughs> yeah. it, it was what you looked forward to grape juice. This is a table grape. Uh, I've been buying some from Curtis Millsap that I believe he got from Dove Mountain in Mountain Grove. Uh -huh. And uh, this year was the awfulest fruit year that we've had in a long time. Right. Uh, no blueberries or blackberries out of Arkansas. Uh, just a handful of peaches from Bill Bader in southeast mm -hmm. Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, you know, table grapes, this Reliance. I don't think Curtis got but just a little handful of them, so he wasn't sharing. So we decided <laughs> to pull out some of this globe amaranth okay. and plant a few. And, you know, we'll never be selling them commercially, but I think it'll make enough for me and you to enjoy. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> kind of a novelty then. So uh, we're looking at maybe two years before you pick, Probably pick so. grapes. Yeah. And, okay. and this is an example. I had these all rooted nicely, and if I could clone myself 10 times, it wouldn't be enough. Somewhere along in that 100-degree weather, mm -hmm. we missed a watering or two and lost about half of them. So Ouch. it's just always something in this business. So you got to pay attention to. you got to pay attention to the details. All right. And what's up in the produce department? Still got a pretty good uh, amount of produce. Tomatoes are winding down, starting to get into some cabbage and turnips and things yeah. like that. And, uh, and the mums are really impressive. Mums are gorgeous. Ooh. I tell you what, I think we're going to do $10 off every, every mum we've got in the building this <laughs> weekend. So if you okay. want to get your mum, come on, we'll give you a deal. You heard it here first. All right. Dan, thanks a lot. We will see you next week.